Welcome to Two Poor Artists, where we are poor at lifting heavy weights, but mostly we're poor at making art. I'm Isaac. And I'm Bench. Um, I'll be starting drawing, and today we're drawing Bearing Burdens. Um, once again, we got this from a, our pastor on Sunday, and um, thought it'd be a, another fun one to draw. So let's just get right into it. I think he watches these and is like, this horribly disappointed in our interpretation of his titles. Yeah, he probably thinks we don't know the Bible at all. Let's see. Um, I'm going to draw... How do, I, how do I start this? I'm going to draw... Like... Yeah, I'm going to draw starting over here. Uh, Good place to start. And then... Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, no, he's disappointed already. As is probably everybody watching. Um, yeah. So, this isn't like a demon or anything. It's just, just your usual, like, cow. When you open with horns, right after talking about how the pastor's probably disappointed, then, uh... Yeah. Um, Aw, now he looks... Much less frightening than I imagine. Yep. Um, so and then we're just gonna draw draw another one. Just gonna hmm. just keep going. Nothing going. quite says bearing burdens like two cows out to lunch, <clears throat> or whatever they're doing. Yep. They're not. They they're not necessarily going out to lunch. Um, so there's going to be there's going to be probably more than two but we'll see we'll see how this goes uh sometimes you know you're just drawing and you're like well i could do more it would make it a better drawing but do we care about how good the drawing is <laughs> i mean just looking at the quality so far and imagining that this same quality is probably posted on someone's refrigerator from their their kids preschool class I think we're probably good. Just so you know, these are all perfectly <laughs> round <laughs> wheels, and they're both the same size. Ah, uh, yeah, just like all, just like those stripes are the same size. Um, all. yeah, and they're and they're all like perfect, normal stripes. <laughs> Nothing. Like, how do you draw like a cow's body? Is it just like? A bigger circle around the like <laughs> is that a cow's body now? it looks like kingpin did in into the spider verse his head just in the <laughs> middle of his body very, very true <laughs> so if that's what you're going for yep kingpin cows and it makes more sense on cows i think than on kingpin i mean this is like those are just perfect cows i'd say i couldn't agree. I'm gonna just because I feel like hating myself a little bit more. <laughs> I'm going to draw one more cow. Just creep it in the background? No. No, definitely not doing that. He is uh he's not creeping at all. He is just directly on top. Of these cows. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> Are these cows like standing on two legs and this cow is like... Like on top of them? But not that's, standing on two legs? That's how I'm picturing it. Like he's not standing on any legs. He's like on them. Mm -hmm. And then... <laughs> is that a donkey? No, it's still just a <laughs> it cow. It looks like a sheep. Why is its face so much longer from this this angle? Sheep and cows. They also definitely have pig too. noses. So whatever yeah. animals these are a mixture of. It's like it's like the last airbender world. These are I called them cows, but they're clearly like goat pigs. Oh yeah, goat pigs. <laughs> but they look like cows. Yeah. And goats. Like, and like pigs. very similar. 
They're just like an animal you could eat for food. Mm. Yes, yeah, doesn't, doesn't really matter which one. Perfect. Because that's not really the point of this drawing. See, now we got this thing, which is like, I don't know. I want to say the word bridal, but I know that's wrong. And then we've got... Uh, it kind of just looks like a big fudgesicle on wheels now. We've got this guy here, and he is just... He, chugging away. Where, where's the rest of him? I haven't found the rest of him yet. <laughs> Clearly. This looks so disturbing. Ah, my hands. You did a good job of disguising the wrist. Yeah. <laughs> Using the, you know, curve of the cart that you clearly couldn't erase. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta remember, you gotta like know the future of what you're gonna draw when you're not allowed to erase things. Yeah, any of you watching at home and think, man, Benji's really bad at art. You're definitely right, but I challenge you to take out a piece of paper and a ballpoint pen. You will make many mistakes that you just can't fix because you can't erase it. Uh, he's like frowning. Because he's pulling a part of cows and stuff. And you might be asking, well, why doesn't he just have these animals pull the cart? Mm, I was about exactly. to Exactly. Bearing... Is it just bearing burdens? Bearing burdens. Burdens. Is that how you spell burdens? That's how I spell burdens. I think it's correct. Benj. Age. 28. And that is my drawing. That's a pretty straightforward drawing compared to last week's that is still haunting me. Yeah, well, we weren't asked to draw flesh this time. We were asked to draw burying burdens. And, um... We drew a guy towing... Pig, goat, yeah. cows. See, I was going to draw, like, a, a, like, cow that was, like, humanoid that was, like, whipping him. And then I was just like, there's no way there's, that I have the talent for that. Uh, it just occurred to me for the first time that the two cows in the cart aren't, like, standing up on two feet. They're, like, on all four feet. They're just facing us. Yes, yes. Ah, they're they're on four feet in the cart. Yeah, I pictured and... them standing like Kingpin in Into the Spider Verse. Oh, okay. Yes, no, they're like standing on four feet facing us, and then the other one, you know, this 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 boy is on top of them. And I say boy, but I mean, if their cows are probably all female, but who cares? Yeah, that's I... the drawing. Excellent. I guess that means it's my turn. Yep. Enjoy. Okay. Uh, Let's get this thing I, started. Yeah. See if you can do better than me. What oh, do you want to put on your drawing glove there? Oh my gosh. I almost forgot. Would have been even more of a disaster than it's going to be. May have. Without the proper equipment. May have looked like mine. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to count mine success if mine just has straight lines. Mm -hmm. If mine has straight lines, it's already basically accomplished more than yours did. Yeah, I was surprisingly bad with the straight lines today. Yeah. Very, very wiggly lines. You did remind me of something pretty important, Fado, and that is that if you're going to be drawing, uh, you know, with pen and not being able to erase, you really have to think ahead as far as uh, what things you draw first. For instance, if I want to draw a face, but he's going to be wearing a hat. First, I have to really make sure that this hat. Yeah, you kind of have to draw the hat. <clears throat> Sorry. You kind of have to draw the hat first. Like, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Anything, if, if you can't erase. Now, I'm sure actual artists will be like, no, this is terrible advice. <laughs> Do the exact opposite. Uh, and we respect that because it's but, probably true. But from my, my point of view here, if you can't erase... You kind of have to draw anything that's on front or on top first. 
because the likeliness of you like leaving enough room to draw the thing that that goes in front of the thing you're drawing. I mean, just look at that hat. That is a beautiful hat. Yeah. Now, obviously, what real artists do is the exact opposite, and they draw what's behind first, and then they use layers, um, you know, and erasers. Are you saying we're not real artists? I mean, I'm pretty sure when we looked up the definition earlier, we are actually artists. Yeah. We're not a good artists. Very, very broad term. But we are, in fact. We, yeah, we have create... Well, see, that's the question, though. Like... Are you an artist if you create art, or are you an artist if you have drawn something? Because the, the definition we found did say, you know, if you draw something, you're being an artist. But you could argue that an artist is one that makes art, and uh, we do not make art. That's we, definitely we, true. We, by technicality, make drawings. I think drawings are kind of art. Don't like famous artists like Picasso still have like drawings that were sold at some point and people are like, oh yes, I have a sketch that took him eight seconds and it's worth ten grand. Yeah, it's still better than what we do though. Uh, well, I mean, that's arguable <laughs> with some artists. I don't want to go calling out any, you know, famous artists or anything like that because... Well, unless they're modern artists and they're worse than us somehow. Mm. Like... I mean, I've proved today that I can't really draw a straight line, but I mean, if you're going to pay me a couple million dollars to draw a straight line, or or what was that, a single gray pixel that sold? Like, I can I can do that. Oh. Marcus, I... <laughs> no! Uh, I bet to... I was... Like, I was thinking, oh man, that's a good shape of the head. I mean... But now, <laughs> but then you started talking about Picasso, uh... and you... <laughs> I think that's where I was going. I was picturing Picasso painting and suddenly both <laughs> eyes are on the same side of the face. But again, he's a celebrated artist, so I think I'm not, it's not too far gone yet. Again, that's kind of like that, what was that, Cyber Chase? We referenced that in the first <laughs> oh, video. Man. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not proud of this yet, but I'm not terribly disappointed either. <clears throat> that's not going to get any better from here on out, though. Like that's the problem, really. Yeah, I mean, once you've messed up the eyes, oh, you know, the window to the soul, you've kind of messed just, up the whole person. I think I just have to go with, like, the arm next. But I'm going to do one of my favorite artistic techniques, which is, if you're going to draw a hand, just draw a circle. <laughs> because as we've discussed in the past, hands are tricky. And this hand yeah. is clutching something. And if you, mm -hmm. you you make a fist with your hand and look at it from the back at the right yeah. angle. See, I always try to draw the knuckles. And that never turns out well. So I think I think you're onto something. See, he's clutching something. Now, it, where this connects to his body is going to be is he thinking? questionable in a second here. Is he a thinking man? Oh, he's like a like a thief. Uh, no, I mean, I mean Santa. He's kind of like the opposite of a thief. And yeah, Santa is the opposite of a thief, but he's also not Santa. Just so there's only two people that carry big sacks like that. That's true. It's either Santa or a thief. It's true, but he's the third. I'm not going to tell you why. I'll leave it as a mystery here for just a moment. But I'll let you at home guess who else carries a big sack. Except for Santa Claus and the person stealing all of the toys that Santa delivered. Which I guess would be like the Grinch. Mm -hmm. but, uh, now, I mean, with that hat, I would guess either like police officer or mailman. Ding, ding, um, ding. Uh, but yeah, See, you can tell this is a mailman. Oh, mailman. Okay, that was the less likely of the two I said. I yeah, ignore the fact that his crotch seems to move. I'm pretty sure mailmen, like, don't carry large sacks. Like, maybe a satchel. This guy does, and you'll see why in just a second. He delivering all of Santa's presents no, on okay. his behalf. So again, you see how his head really isn't quite connected to the rest of his body here? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to just, I'm going to leave it. Yeah. Because uh, I can't there's make it nothing, any better. There's nothing you can do. No, I can't add some legs. Either. Now, you'll notice as he draws towards the bottom here, that unlike our last video, you can actually see it. Mm, yes. Yep. We fixed that problem. That's right. One little problem at a time. Yep. 
we we may not be good at art but uh we can sometimes figure out problems with the programs that we like use just shade in under there to make his neck you know i'm just gonna <laughs> make let you assume that his neck is somewhere behind this sack mm -hmm. and, uh... yeah i mean even though we can clearly see past the sack and it's not we will imagine that perfect I know I've been imagining that extra long neck that he has snaking out from there. See, this, this is another time. artistic technique that has to do with when you're when you're drawing and you want to make it very clear that that's behind the person. See, he's going up a hill, but now it doesn't go through his body like it would have if I drew the hill first. Yep. Just call that a win for the day. Because you drew him first, and then you knew where to stop the lines. Just watch this, too. This is going to be impressive, also. I'm going to put picket sign. I have picket signs in all my other ones. It's a good yeah, way of conveying your points. Two, two weeks ago. It's a good way of conveying your points if you can't do it with actually, you know, drawing something. Yeah, all those picket signs we see in our day to day life. Yeah. I think they show up in cartoons far more often than in reality. Well, or, or like video games, like all the Legend of Zelda games, or like you can make them in Terraria. But again, you can tell now that that picket sign is in fact on the hill because I drew it first and then drew the hill behind it. Oh, oh no. no! I wasn't even touching the screen. Oh, I'm still not touching the screen. Oh, what? What has happened to our pen? We'll, we'll let you. We'll let you undo. Okay, okay, okay. Which we'll, button? Uh, it's the top button. Okay. See, I wasn't even touching the screen. We do have some exceptions to our rules, <laughs> like when the technology that we're yeah. using, the hardware now, issues. Now, when we're drawing on paper, if the pen just splurts out ink, that's yeah. just too bad. I can't tell you how many of our pen drawings have just horribly unfixable mm -hmm. mistakes on them. Well, and sometimes we just like grab a piece of paper that already has a line on it, and it's like, well, uh, I guess that's part of the only drawing. There's so much you can do. Are these like things bulging out of the out of the sack here? Oh no, wait, that that looks more looks like something else now. What does it look like? Maybe mustaches? <laughs> oh god, just <laughs> No, it's it's not. Maybe some context here in a second will help. But you know. <clears throat> maybe maybe they're like gases. Like something slashed open that. Yeah, yeah, see? Now we're on the right track. Let's see here. <clears throat> so you said he's a mailman, so does he have like mail in this sack? Oh gosh, the pen doing it again. What is happening today? I don't know. It's probably just you. It didn't it didn't happen to me. I think you had to touch you had to touch it, it to fix it. That's what you did last time, at least. I'm even using the drawing glove. Maybe, maybe it's the drawing glove that's messing you up. <laughs> All right, hang on a second while we get this figured out. Is that an eye? It's like a tear in the bag, and yeah, there's an eye. So, this isn't just an ordinary mailman. This is like a nightmare man. Look at how terrible that shading looks with the ballpoint pen. Again, we challenge you to try it at home. Yep. Yeah. I mean, we know that what you do will be better than what we've done. Like, if this thing's dangerous... Bears. bears. <laughs> like, why are, why are you just putting bears in a sack? Well, they've got to get delivered somehow. Like, something better than a sack, I, I would hope. I mean, no, I've never seen a bear get delivered, like, to the zoo or anything. I guess this uh, could be. Yeah, see, it's fragile. This is, this is exactly how bears get delivered to the zoo, in case you are not aware. Mailman just grabs the sack of bears. Yeah, it's quite a burden. 
How how many bears are in that say? So yeah, up the hill he goes. You gotta give him some mailman stripes on his pants. Like mailmen oh, yeah. have. Yeah, all those mailmen I've seen. I looked up in anticipation for this video this week what a mailman looks like, and there was one video or one picture that had a mailman that had like stripes going up his pants. Pretty sure all the mailmen I've seen wear like blue shorts. And then they have like they have like the hats with the rim yeah, that goes it, all the way around. Again, it is hard to convey blue and red. Although that might just be here because it's so hot. They might wear shorts and and hats that give more shade. So he's going up the hill to the zoo with the bears. Yeah. But he's a mailman. Well, he's like delivering to the zoo. You know how yeah. this goes. And then, you know. I thought storks were the ones that delivered kind of animals to the zoo. Storks do sometimes, but for the most part, it's male men, especially when they're like already adults. Well, see, now that you've drawn the sun, as we know, you have to now draw shadows. Oh man, what have on, I done? On everything. What have I done? Everything you draw needs a shadow. I'm gonna do my attempt at shadows now. So we got this. Gosh. See shadows, the one nice thing about them is they don't have to look nearly as nice as you would expect because they're just a black yeah, blob. Everybody knows shadows have no consistency whatsoever. Yeah. They're just whatever you and want. Thankfully, this guy, he doesn't have much. Uh... Yeah, you kind of just have to draw, like from his feet going out, and then you just assume the rest of his body has a shadow. Yeah, look at that. It's so much easier than what you had to do the other day. Yeah. Man, that's wonderful. I gotta add some the wood texture now. Oh yes, yeah, so you got to know it's made out of wood and not something else exactly and then you don't want people thinking it's a broccoli sign you would that would be terrible you got to give some of those little like beads that grow in the grass gosh my drawing's taking forever today people are gonna be like i stuck around to watch him draw weeds <laughs> yeah so he's going up to the zoo maybe i'll give him a little bit of dialogue this week Eight. Zoo. Deliveries. Here you go. That, uh, that, I, I got, I got that from his, you know, his expression and the fact that he has a bear ripping out of his bag. Yeah. No, you wouldn't want to bear this burden. Also, now that you have weeds, I realize that he's not even, like, following a path. He's just, like, on Well, yeah, a, this zoo is, like, like... hill. He's just, like, going up a hill. And the zoo couldn't even afford, like, a real sign. This is, like, a very obscure... Just bear zoo up at the top of the hill. <laughs> just nothing but bears. Yeah, it's rough. It is rough. Got to put my name and date or name and age. Oh gosh. Yeah. You don't have your age, and how how do they know that you're a professional artist? Although it seems like you can't even do your name. One of these days, it's gonna look like my actual name. Isaac, age twenty-eight. There we yep. go. Bearing burdens. That's the drawing. So we've uh, we've done it for today. We've wasted all of your time, but uh, thank thanks for watching it, anyways.
looking at it as a whole, it looks so much worse than I expected it to. But mm -hmm. uh, well, it's not going to get any better. So we might as well just call it a day. Thanks. Thanks for suffering with us. And uh, I guess we'll see you next time. Yeah. Adios.